So this is our soon to be vegetable patch, all overgrown, wild, full of weeds. Dogs are here helping. We're going to clear it. Scott's made a start here. I'm going to help him. So we've got a nice big patch here that we're going to use initially. And if it goes well, we might do another patch. Trying to be a little bit more self-sufficient. Carrie's watching. What's going on? Just had her dinner. So I'll show you when we're finished. So we are getting there slowly. Slowly, slowly catchy monkey. But we've done all of this in more or less an hour, less than an hour. So hopefully tomorrow it will be ready to put some vegetable starts in, plant starts as they call them. Oh. See it? Whoa! See I don't know if you guys can see this on video, but when we're watering the plants, it's making a really cool rainbow. It's just the light and the water, I think. Oh. It looks really cool. So, we have completed the fencing for our huerta, our garden. In here, in these pots, we already had peppers, red onions and one random lettuce. More red onions here. This is my um, rosemary. I've been growing this since last year. This line, Skylar, do you want to just do the water in a minute while I am? Um, this line we've got, this is a random line, actually. Um, I think that's a pepper of some description. Possibly um, eggplant, aubergine, aubergine. Another lettuce, strawberries. You can see, lettuce and basil cucumbers and I think they're more aubergines in the pots down there we've got lettuces then we've got cucumbers that I've been growing for a while I've just transported them into the ground but I don't know if I should but we'll see how that gets on more strawberries that are uh, again I've been growing in pots but I've moved to the ground you can see the rainbow again that's so cool um, a cherry tree in the middle because the kids Wanted a cherry tree. Um, more tomatoes of some variety. Another line of tomatoes. Down the bottom, celery, cabbage, chilies, and I'm not sure what the far ones are, if I'm honest. Where are the strawberries? There are um, white onions. I think that second row in from the fence. I think is butternut squash, but I'm not sure. They could be butternut squash over in the far corner. This, the, the purpley one is some sort of lettuce leaf. The lady in the um, garden centre said they were really nice. She said they were Spanish food, really nice. So we got it and she said it was for a salad. So we'll see what we get out of that. Um, so yeah, Skylar in her football kit. Water in the plants. So yeah, this is our our little vegetable garden, our huerta, as they say in Spain. That they've had water. We've been inspired to do this by the guys from over at Spanish Homestead. They are just probably, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes from us. And we've been watching their videos. And we've got enough land here, so we thought we'd have a go. We've got our own fertiliser, her name's Carrie. <laughs> so we're going to do a compost heap over here. Yeah, 
Our neighbours did say when we moved in that nothing grows in the ground here. Everything dies, he said. Everything. So we'll see. But on the field next to us, the farmer grows hundreds and thousands of broccolis every year. And I can't see how their land can be that different to ours. But I don't know. I'm no gardener. This is my first time. So we'll see. So we'll do some vlogs on our progress. Keep you updated if anything lives or dies or, you know. And hopefully all will go well and we'll have a nice little harvest. We are just waiting at the moment for two of our goats to have a baby. And I'll take you over there in a minute and you can see them. So this is our animal home. Animal home. Goat home. Pig home. This is Pato. She's a wild duck. She just comes here every day for food. And some days like today she stays all day. Then we've got Willow with the white feet. Willow's having babies, or a baby. We're just waiting anytime now. Salem's there in the back, meowing. He's always Oh, there's a goat cat. inside. The goat's in. What's this one called? Um, Twinkle Toes. Twinkle Toe. <laughs> Freddie named it. Twinkle Toes. Here. It's the this is what they play on. They jump on that to play. It's the in here. Yeah, this is Wendy, the mama goat. I call her mama goat. She's having babies too. And then this is what they play in. Try to get the video because she's in front. Is she inside? Estrella is, yeah. Estrella is inside apparently. Let's have a look. <laughs> Goats love to play. Estrella! Lean in. Come on. Here she comes. is lovely the two black ones are about a year old but goats love to play and they love to destroy things so we try and find things for free um, that they can play with and you know and these sort of things work a lovely uh, lady in the village gave us the cable reel they have the tree hello pato this is doris doris is not happy because she wants to go inside but we've moved her bed outside now for summer. But she's in a mood. Oh, you nearly pushed me over then, you. It's a skylight again. Yeah, so Doris is in a, in a right old mood because she wants to be indoors. We've got a new rabbit that um, we gave her home to a couple of weeks ago. He's in here, Oreo, that we've called him. And he's with a little chicken. What did you call the chicken? Nugget. Nugget. Mm. <laughs> oh, goodness. Nugget. Chicken the nugget. So. They've got more room now. They're in here now. They have been in the house, but they needed more room. So they have this safe space now. Shaded. Before we you can the chicken get a water I like that. Might need to go in and move that Skylar. Yeah, I put the brick there so they can jump up and out in and out because organising animals, I tell you. Look how fat Mama Goat is, she's super super fat. Anytime soon I think. Uh, I do, but I do think that Willow over there, the brown goat, I think she'll go first. Here's Papa Goat. He's in here. Not allowed to the girls, are you, anymore? Oh, you've knocked the roof off. I'll come and put it back on. And in here is Pablo Pig as well, but I think he's hiding. He's under the board. He's got a toy tunnel, a play tunnel as well, and a mud pit. and Some strawberries in there. Do you want to go round and just put the roof back on there, the cage? So he's in there. Salem. And the chickens, they're all digging. I don't know if they found something over there. I think they're digging for gold. <laughs> we have hole, seven chickens at the moment and two cockerels. Um, well, eight chickens with the little ones. Eight chickens with, the, with nugget, but in here. Um, I am going to get some more because we're going to be selling our eggs out the front of the house. We're going to make a little egg stall. 
and Skyler's going to sell her eggs. Um, you see Yuki? But yeah, lovely chickens. And they're very good. They lay as nice eggs. Sometimes they lay as double eggs, like with double yolks. Yeah, double yolks. And we've got, um, obviously, the heat lamp. And I'd like to try and um, hatch some baby chickens because none of my chickens get broody none of them want to sit on the eggs they're just not interested so we might have a little experiment and see if we can hatch some ourselves make a little nursery incubator type thing with the um the heat lamp see if it works so yeah that's these lot they're all happy have lots of room to play the food. So yeah, welcome to uh, our little farm. Salem's after some water. In here, that's where the irrigation water comes in, and it's open at the moment. So you know, it's got water. Yeah, it is clean, and he's got water anyway. Staying all night tonight, you? Huh? For your hotel room. You're not going home? That's Skylar, put those bricks back against the fence, please, in a line like that. I don't know how they've got there. Stay in the night. Oh, nuggets. Oh, no, she's gone back in. Yeah. So that's a little introduction to our animals. The farm side, anyway. <laughs> and as soon we'll stay on baby watch, and as soon as we've got some babies, I'll let you all know. But I do think it will be soon. Right. So after a lovely sunny day, the heavens just literally opened. We have a rainbow. There's water everywhere you can see over by the swing oh my goodness it's warm again now it's sunny again I know it doesn't look it on the video but it is sunny again it has absolutely hoofed it down and just going to take you over because I planted all my starts And it's rained as if it's never rained before. And I'm hoping that they're all going to be okay. Well, they've been watered well. Just hopefully it isn't too much. Fingers crossed. Right. I'll leave this, oh my goodness, before I say that, look at my horse field. Wow. Can you swim, Carrie? Can you swim? Because you might bloody need to. Oh, wow. Mm. Delightful. Look at that lovely rainbow there. Right. I'll keep you all updated on my... Um, very wet and battered plants. Keep everything cross for me, guys. Oh, my poor little tomato plants. Look at them. Oh, oh well. It, what will be, will be. Thank you for joining us. And hopefully we'll see you in the next video.